The brain tumors are a uh, very broad range of um, tumors and brain tumors in general, if you look at the whole population, brain tumors are rare. So the commonest tumors are really what we call as cancer of the lung, prostate, breast, and colon. Brain tumors uh, can vary depending on which part of the brain they come in, whether they come just under the skull from the membranes covering the brain or whether they are within the substance of the brain. And there are really two main types. One is called as primary brain tumor, where the tumor arises from the cells within the brain. And the commonest form of that tumor is called a glioma. And most of those are usually cancerous or malignant tumors. Um, the other, part, other type of tumor is a secondary brain tumor, which is called a metastasis which are tumors that come from other parts of the body. Um, there can be some slower growing tumors within the brain, uh, which arise from the membrane surrounding the brain, which are tumors such as meningiomas, uh, which arise from the membranes around the brain or from nerves themselves called schwannomas. Um, the brain is a quite a complex structure enclosed within a very fixed uh, box called the skull. And it's got lots of nerves and lots of vessels that are very in close approximation to it. So the symptoms that come uh, out of the brain tumor depends very much on the size of the brain tumor. And if it's pressing on any particular structure or if it's arising in a particular part, for example, if it ari is arising near an area of the brain that controls the movement of the hand and legs, such as the motor cortex, it might lead to weakness or seizures of that particular part. Diagnosis is really by clinical suspicion. You look at the symptoms and look at whether it's pointing to a particular pathology and you organize a scan. So really the mainstay of diagnosis would be an MRI scan of the brain with or without contrast, depending on the symptoms. If there is a brain tumor, and, and again, this is very difficult to sort of explain in a very short sentence because it is a very complex area, brain tumors. For example, people can have brain tumors and they live a normal life without needing any operations. So the meningioma is a common example. If you scan a lot of people on, you know, on the street, you will find lots of people with small little tumors called meningiomas and they never ever require an operation. However, tumors within the substance of the brain or tumors that are pressing on the brain, when they start causing symptoms, they will probably require an operation. Sometimes uh, if the tumor is bigger and there is a potential for it to start growing faster, then it will require an operation. So whether it requires an operation or, or not really depends on the particular person, on the particular type of tumor. But in, in general, most brain tumors do require some form of surgery, either a biopsy alone, where we take a piece of tissue and look at it, or uh, to try and remove as much of the tumor as we can. Uh, so it really depends on where the tumor is, what symptoms it's producing, how fast or slow do we think it's growing. And they could be life-threatening. Um, so, you know, a lot of what we call as the primary intrinsic brain tumors are life-threatening. They are cancerous and they grow, and therefore we need to do something to reduce their growth potential, try and remove some of it, treat it with radio or chemotherapy. If it is a more slow-growing tumor, tumor like a meningioma, uh, people can live with these tumors even if we don't operate on them. But if it is in a particular area, like near a blood vessel or near a major nerve, then it could be life-threatening. So it really depends on where it is and, and what is its potential to grow. So uh, the, the, if, if, it, if it is a brain tumor that, for example, is not giving any symptoms and has just been picked up on a scan, the most common management would be a repeat scan. So we keep an eye on it and look and observe and see how it's behaving. Um, if it is a brain tumor that is more suspicious that could grow faster, then we would need to think about whether we take a biopsy or whether we try and remove as much as we can. Um, and that discussion needs to happen after the, after the scan has been done 
and after the patient's been seen, so we sort of put all of them together. Um, the aim of surgery would really be to try and control the disease, but also make sure, sure that the person has a good quality of life. And we don't want to do a, a lot of operation and give the person a deficit. And I think that whole ethos is, is important in brain tumor management because pretty much uh, a lot of the operations have the potential to give a deficit. So trying to get that balance just right is, is the key to understanding brain tumors.